all right guys you're welcome to my channel i received a, a, an email from one of uh, one of you and uh, i'm grateful most times if you take out time to send me an email and it says he loves uh, one of the video that i made on touch no touch and i remember okay he said i made a promise on that video to you know uh do a second part of it but i have not done this uh till now so okay so i'm just going to you to that now and then we'll go back to my system to just complete the second part that i was supposed to do and then we'll just complete it okay so um if by now this is the first time you're coming across my channel i make video on um binary.com derive.com forex trading business whatever that will improve your life whatever that will make you uh, help you make more money so um what you just need to do right now if you're not tuned into this channel just hit the subscription button and then turn on the notification bell button so that whenever i drop video you'll be the first to see it and you'll be the first to start making money with the opinion or, or with the idea that i'm dropping with you okay so we're just going to go through the what this um what one of you requested requested so i believe most of you have been trying to request it too but you know whenever you have anything to tell me please just do what to drop in the comment section I always go to the comment I always check out uh the comments so instead of taking out the stress it's good to send me email that's very good but if you drop in the comments you also see it and still respond to it you know um so what you need to do on this video right now and uh, before i proceed is you need to like this video like i've said earlier subscribe and then uh, comment you know what this helps to do is it helps a um, YouTube algorithm to you know you know push this video further and more and more people will join our community and will grow and to encourage me to keep making more and more videos so that you can enjoy and keep growing in the future so let's dive right into the video Yo hey guys, um, you are here. You're welcome here. Uh, I'm still with Rebel, right? I'm still with you. All right. So before I proceed on this video, I am giving away um, an item, an ebook that is worth about about twenty five to to fifty dollars. Uh, and it's okay. All right. So I'm giving away this. Uh, there are three items here so i am giving away one one of it three items so let me choose which one am i giving away inside guide to forex trading forex secret uh forex fortune guide all right so what the particular one i'm giving away here is forex secret and that's and the art of buying and selling any commodity all right i'm giving away this ebook this ebook is worth over 25 dollars 20 to 25 dollars so and i'm giving it away free so um you have to check the first link below which is uh you have to it has to determine whether you're eligible or not so it, it's it's a free download it's totally free uh download and uh, you know like when most people move on to maybe by the next uh, video uh i'll i might give i'm giving it from now hence what i'll be giving away more stuff more and more stuff so maybe from the next videos i'll be giving away this and this and more and more to come okay so let's uh, stick stay tuned all right so um like i was saying you know when you mention forex slides most people think that it's something that you're just hitting and they hit out no most times it, uh, it's not like that uh although most most persons get lucky at the beginning and then they fumble in the middle and the most person uh, fumble in the beginning and then they 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 when they learn their lessons they 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 get so successful at the end all right so but this doesn't have an end though what i'm saying in essence is that uh forex is just all about education so uh, the more you learn the more even if you're winning you keep learning you know to keep the to be consistent in the winning even if you are not doing well you keep learning to do well okay so you keep learning and that's why this video is being made here all right so let me just go over to the to my mail to read exactly what uh the users requested for all right so here is the mail uh here we have okay this is the particular email right here it say i'm one of your youtube subscriber sir i watch your video on touch or no touch which was an eye opener all right so whatever i do here is an eye opener though uh, uh most people person don't know okay though i'm a trader but i don't have any knowledge of this instrument 
sir you promised to you promised us that the on the on that video that we can trade the reverse side of the touch or no touch please kindly show me how to trade the reverse side or you release the video on this thanks and bless you sir looking forward to for you for your reply sir all right so um he was kind enough to request it if not for himself for others uh, all right so um that's exactly what i'm about to uh record it here to record here so um if you if you've not watched that video by now i'm also it's going to be the second link below so i'm uh let's let's let me just type it touch no touch touch binary strategy uh all right let's go over to video video uh, okay i think that will be on youtube let's go to youtube all right youtube so when you go on youtube and you search touch no touch binary strategy uh you will see it here i think my video is the okay one two three four the fifth video <laughs> I'm, i may not be ranking that well but i believe it, the video is doing pretty well start from the start from like like um so if you, if you have okay I, I, think I have to pause this, I have to pause this. I have to pause this. so uh if you have not watched this video you just have to um check it below so that you will learn from there from here then you can go on to uh learn the the rest all right and learn the other part so if by now you don't have a binary or a derivative account to start with now i provided some list of links down here we have the first one here to sign up for derivative the second one to sign up maybe for binary any of them anyone you sign up on is the same thing all right you can log into the both side with the same link all right so uh, go ahead to sign sign up okay that will be the the third link below so um let's just continue with uh, the video all right so if you've already watched uh, this uh, particular video uh, before now you discover that i talk about one section so i'm going to use binary uh, and we could, I, i'll also show you how to get that done on derek so let's log into an account and i am going to use the demo account all right for this for practice sake because just to be flexible enough all right with you guys so here we are on my binary account uh to log into the derif counterpart that is uh, just to click down here and then uh, it will log in so here we are all right so the first thing that we have to understand is when you're talking about this trading pattern touch no touch this is where we are going to so um we have to go to the particular market that you know i love the most uh, the volatility which is much more flexible with this uh, 3d strategy so um here we are on the uh, volatility and then i have to enable the chart here all right so why doing that why that is loading let me just click here to see here so it's loading and uh, you can see here we are all right although this one is on boom so i have to switch the market to volatility 10 all right and then switch it to touch no touch okay touch no touch all right in order not to confuse the, the whole process so i just have to go back to the binary complete the binary then we'll come over here to see how it works here all right this is a very nice market to trade down to trade downward with okay all right so here we are uh this is volatility 10 okay this is volatility 10 as well all right so uh i might have to switch to volatility 100 because this is this volatility 10 is shooting down and the touch no touch is meant to be an upward market you know the one thing about this market is most times they they kind of resonance with each other like resonance means that they they, they kind of do things alike you know uh when the uh, market uh, volatility 100 is falling volatility 10 will tend to want to do the likelihood like the kind of thing that volatility 100 is doing so uh that's one thing i found about this uh, two market though 
so but in, not in all cases not in all cases so don't take it serious all right so here we are touch no touch now you have to come here up and down you can see that there are a whole lot of options which i've made video on down if you check down the my youtube channel you see a lot of video i've made on this all right so but i'm still going to make more and as more strategies as i experiment more and get more and more and more uh, i'm still going to make more uh, and mind you a few days ago i used the same this uh, same strategy to generate uh from a 13 dollars deposit to about 67 dollars okay uh so uh let's come over here click on touch no touch now the minimum time that is required for touch and touch is always two minutes two minutes and the last one we checked was on volatility 10 and that's why we saw that the barrier offset was i think it was two also that was volat okay it was still volatility 300 volatility 300 so i have to switch to volatility 100 uh because i was shocked to see the barrier offset today to be uh, plus 5.54 all right so let's say we're using ten dollars the last time what we talked about we just up uh, our trade were was just centered around the does not touch all right it was just centered around the does not touch and that was a downward and i was and i told you that it's a higher risk to place trade upward you can see that the payout for upward is about 174.3 percent which is higher for ten dollars is about 27.45 dollars payout and then uh for the same stake of ten dollars and then for downward the, the payout is about 51.7 percent uh which is uh, a bit lower and that means the risk is very low all right so i'm um, talking about touch no touch and um in this case now it means if you place trade upward that's the touches that means you're playing you're playing hard you're playing really hard you're trying to you know uh you know the possibility of winning is very low uh, all right it's very low except there's a very high shot up okay that's a very high uh you know uptrend all right that's what i mean by the shot up so uh when you click on this downward the trade proceeds it's just as simple as that but you know uh the what this trade does is it will proceed for two minutes which is the minimum time and the more you increase the time the more the payout is uh, likely going to increase so it will continue downward uh, it will continue that way to uh, when the trade finally ends and it does not touch uh, okay and uh what did i what did i and it doesn't touch that's uh then it's a win it's a win if there's no touch there's the barrier is upward here like the, the distance between the barrier and this point here is very very far away like it's very far away up here so the possibility of this market to move from here especially when it's on a downtrend to move all the way from this downtrend and sweep and sweep and cross the starting point and then cross the barrier is always very low high the hence the the high possibility of winning in this kind of trade all right so you can see this trade here was just placed randomly like i just hit downward without even checking if the, the, the trend is downward or maybe without applying any particular strategy without checking any chart or something all right so imagine when you are using a particular strategy on this particular pattern let's say you are applying a trend line or you're applying some trend or you're applying some statistics or you're reading some stuff which means the the possibility of your 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 chances of winning in this trade is going to be about 110 percent okay so I'm, I'm i'm saying that because uh, this is what i've done most of the time all right but nevertheless nevertheless i i kind of i kind of love rise and fall but this is this is really good this is really good okay so now this is two minutes now you can see the trade is already won and yet there was there was no no closure to the starting point neither it is to the uh to where the barrier is so all right so let's say in the last video I, i'm going to copy this this point here control x i'm going to cut it and then put the last video the barrier was about 2.7 or something 2.7 let's see how it, if we use the same barrier here let's see how it goes all right 2.7 you can see here oh the can see here that the the whole situation is is kind of reversed it's kind of reversed so 
let me let me put the back let me put back the 5.54 all right so now when i when i switch it back it reverses the situation now the last video we'll just talk about the downward trade and this video now what we are going to talk about now is the upward how you can place trade on this upward where it has a higher version like how you can switch this switch this uh this position to up and back and forth okay so now now how you can do that is just let's you see here if you change that to minus if you change that uh, to minus like uh in the case of the higher lower kind of trade nothing changes it doesn't change anything it doesn't change the, the touch no touch so what you actually do here what you actually do here is to reduce the barrier you, you change the barrier by reducing it such that uh it's the it has to switch this way okay let me say i reduce it by 3.5 and you watch the changes i think the more it's the reduction the more the, the it is it, it just switches so now let's say we place this in this case now where we'll be talking about touches now let's place trade on touches and let's see how it goes now in this case now this is the starting point and the barrier is still somewhere up here but it's much more closer now like the possibility of it touching is very very high compared to uh before now uh, where the barrier was a, a far away from from the starting point so let's watch this trade as it goes as it proceed let's see can you see this is where the barrier is so eventually if the, when this trade touches this barrier it goes to it, it stops now that trade is one so uh this but touches always applies as is, is very much okay for and when you when you see a viable uptrend when you see a viable uptrend you use the touch you can see the more i reduce the barrier the more the percentage reduces okay i just reduce the basic the barrier by 0.5 percent and the touches also reduce as well all right so um uh, before i continue a quick one guys if by now you are not subscribed to my channel please do what to subscribe all right i give you just two seconds to subscribe all right one two all right you are subscribed now now hit the notification bell button so that whenever i upload you can always receive this video all right okay you are done with that all right okay so uh now okay now let's place another one and by with the reduction in barrier and you just take a look at it so it's just as simple as that all right so any moment it touches the trade ends for the last end and then place again so it's, this this particular pattern is always good for a very high uptrend like it's always good when you see that the market is bound to always go up it's always on it's always going to go uptrend and now if it doesn't touch that barrier it will proceed downward as long as possible like as long as possible if you keep going downward and going and going and going and going and going you know till the time elapses this only when the time elapses that it's the the trade is is a lost all right so now looking at this now the whole situation what we're doing here we are not looking at the trend we are not doing anything and we're just placing mindlessly without and and by just leveraging on the closeness of the barrier to the to the starting point all right now this trade is kind of going downward though. so now let's see how it go, works on uh the reef why this trade proceed uh we'll come back to check on this particular one but let's see how it works on the reef uh it's remaining 58 seconds all right uh okay let me just allow you to do all right let's see how it works here all right so on the reef this is where you find the touch no touch this is where you put you add it you add it up here and um, the we are working on volatility 100 volatility 100 you can see the barrier is the same right here it's the same right the same very much the same okay so oh this is remaining 19 seconds uh this might possibly be a loss 
because the time remaining is really really short compared to the position where it is right now the time is really really short so uh let's see how it works on on the reef so on the reef is uh this is where you switch the barrier here you just change two point two point zero or two point five all right and see how it goes two point five uh how much per trade uh let me let me use um let's say ten dollars to all right so that means per trade the win amount per trade is about four dollars all right so click touch uh off it goes now look at those three that i've been placing here on binary.com here also it's also reflecting here all right so two one and one lost all right so here this is where the barrier is and this is the trade proceeding down down here so you can click on the, the trade on its on its own to just view how it's going so this is where alpha is gone all right so the only moment where you you have to use this option the way it is is when you you see that okay uh this thing here is really uh the market is really falling see it's moving this is where the barrier is and this is how far it has gone so definitely this one is going to be a win because uh the time remaining is about well it's, it's okay 50 seconds and is it is closer to the barrier here it's very close okay Forty three seconds remaining. Thirty six seconds remaining. Twenty three seconds remaining. I think this was a red trade by now. Some people must have gotten hypertension. All right, but uh, it should always be like that in your case. So here we go. Whoa! It didn't touch. It didn't touch. So uh, all right. So you can see this has been a whole lot of downtrend. All right, this has been a whole lot of downtrend. So uh. I don't always uh, recommend this uh, no touch to anyone all right but except except when you are operating it in a, a kind of a, a downtrend like that so the more you offset the barrier like I just offset this barrier now let's say you, you still you are using the, the, the touch uh, the no touch the more you offset the barrier the the, the less are the profit all right from five to four point something for the something bar uh, this thing all right so why the barrier is here and then the trade has an opportunity to go as much as downward as possible now that it's a it's downtrend and it's going down and the barrier is far up so uh using the no touch is is good to all right um i've, I've been talking about the volatility 100 alone let's switch to other market like volatility 10 to see how it goes looking at volatility 10 here now first of all I have to look at where the position is uh, where the percentage in, in profit is like okay which is the downward no touch that's a, a downward trade all right so if I place a trade no touch here it will proceed uh, downward and to the percentage of winning is low and then the chance of winning is really high but this no touch here to reverse the situation here then i might have to see how i can switch this up by increasing percentage to two and see the effect all right when i increase the percentage to the percentage here reduced and this one was really really went really really high all right uh, all right it went really really high which i don't normally advise anybody to use this kind of high percentage you might you might never 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 win a trade with this kind of high percentage like look at that 
look at where the barrier is look at where your trade is it means your trade have to shoot like a magic so much upwards so all right so i have to reduce this let's reduce this to from the default to 0 0.5 uh we just reduce that to 0 0.5 you can see the switches right you can see the big switches around that all right here is now 57.8 percent and here is now 156 percent so uh when you place straight that way on that section here and then you view the trade you know so placing trade on touch no touch to so use the touch option that to reverse the situation you just need to reverse the percentage all right you just need to reverse the percentage and that's all that is reverse it that is reduce it or increase it when you reduce it if you reduce it it to it will it will bring closer the barrier it will bring the barrier and the starting point closer you can see that and that has ended it has ended already so it will bring the barrier and the starting point closer okay if i place another one here two let me place like three all at once two okay three okay four all right so uh one thing i about this touch no touch uh, pattern of trading is that you don't have an opportunity to sell the market uh unlike the unlike the rise and fall pattern of trade there is no there's no opportunity to set the market so uh if you have placed a trade you have placed a trade the trade has to just proceed you know so now look at this now uh we are looking at this this one and this one this three here uh on, on with the touch option all right so let's view it here let's view one of it so since they were all placed together at the same time which means if one end the other ones might end as well so it's a many one minute and this thing are going far down you know all right so mind you all this uh testing that uh, we just did here is when the market is really going on a downtrend remember when the first log got and i saw i think it was around here that i saw this and i said this is a really big downtrend all right so we saw that the market was on a very big downtrend so they if they using the touch option the market should be at least on an uptrend all right not on a down serious downtrend and you expect to win all right it doesn't work that way you need to use it when it's on an uptrend something like this like this then you're sure of winning you know uh your entire list of trade all right so this now uh we don't expect any much win here all right because it's on a downtrend so that is how to typically use uh touch and no touch uh 